Hello and welcome back to Online Equestrian Lessons. I'm Katie and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to put a running martingale on your bridle and how to store the bridle with the running martingale. So a running martingale is, um, is a piece of equipment that is used to help you have a little bit more control of your horse and also um, help your horse to have a better head carriage where um, if you have a horse that has a really high head, head carriage um, you're going to have a little bit more control and a little bit of leverage to be able to bring your horse's head down. Um, so these are used for um, like jumping and cross country, things like that. So um, there's two different uh, types of running martingales. You've got a running martingale that's hooked to a breast collar. Um, and your breast collar is going to help your saddle not to slide backwards. And then you've just got a regular running martingale um, that just has the attachment that goes to the reins, has the attachment that goes to the girth between your horse's two front legs, and then just has a piece that comes around his neck. Um, so today I'm going to be using a running martingale that is attached to a breast collar. So your running martingale has these two rings here, and these rings are gonna go through um, your reins. So your reins are gonna come through here. Um, so, um, you want to make sure that when you're what bri whatever bridle you're using, that your reins are going to have rein stops. So they look like this, and they they sometimes they'll come on your reins. And sometimes they'll be leather, and sometimes they'll be rubber. If your reins don't have rein stops, you can actually buy rubber ones and put them on your reins. So this is really important because you don't want these rings to get caught up here on the buckle or on the bit, and that could kind of be um, asking for a disaster. So make sure you've got your rein stops. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the bridle around backwards where the brow band is facing the wall here. Okay, so we're gonna make sure our reins aren't twisted, that they are um, nice and, and even here. So we've got your buckle here, and then we're gonna make sure that our, um, everything is gonna be facing. So like if the horse's head was facing that way, and his neck and his back was facing this way, we're gonna make everything um, faced where we would be putting it on him like this. So here's his head, we're gonna be putting it on him. So make sure that you're running martingales up here. This is going over his neck. So I'm gonna slide this over my, over my arm here. Okay, so now I've got my two running martingales, um, or my two rings here. So I've got my reins. I'm gonna undo my reins. Undo the buckle here. Try to keep them straight, okay? I'm gonna have one uh, ring on either side, so I'm gonna slip the right rein through the right ring, make sure that it's straight, slip my left rein through the left ring, so now I've got my two reins through my two rings, then I'm going to buckle my reins back up, just like this, okay? All right. So now I can let the rings go. So if you can see the, the uh, rings here are on the reins. So if your horse's head goes up too high, then this is gonna be able to help you have a little bit more control of him. So then the uh, rein stops here are going to prevent the, rein, the rings from slipping too far and getting caught on the buckle or the bit. Okay, so we've got that now. So we've, we've got it all hooked up now. So how we're gonna store it is we're gonna take our, um, the top of our breastplate. So we've got our two rings up here. So you know that that's the top. Then we're gonna take the top of our rein and the top of our bridle. So we've got it like this. You can see that, okay? Now I'm going to set that back on the hook. Now you're gonna have the piece, I don't know if you can see, you're gonna, so this is all hooked up the way it's supposed to be. Now you're gonna have this piece. This is gonna go between your horse's two front legs. And we don't want it to be dragging the ground because if it drags the ground, it could very easily, um, it could very easily get um, broken. So we're gonna take this up just like this. We're gonna find our throat latch on our bridle. And we're gonna take that throat latch and we're gonna run it through the um, girth strap here. We're gonna run it through. And I like to actually go around my bridle even a couple times and then hook it up. And what, that, what that's gonna do is it's just gonna keep everything nice and even um, together. 
and keep and prevent it from getting tangled. Okay, so now that's how I would store it, just like this. Okay, so let's show that again. So I can very easily just undo my throat latch, just like this, undo the throat latch, put the girth strap of my um, breastplate down, and then when I get ready to put this on my horse, I put the uh, breast collar over his neck, I put the reins over his neck, and then I can put the bridle on him, and everything will stay nice and even. So then storing it again, the reins, the breast collar, pull your, um, pull your um, girth strap up, find your throat latch, put the throat latch through, take it around your bridle, hook your throat latch up, and then you've got a nice, nicely organized bridle, and it'll be ready to go for next time. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope it really helps. Um, and if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit that little notification bell um, so you can see more of our videos. Thanks for watching.